Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race, and we're out here in the exact same spot we were in the last video, racing salty at another Still City No Prep. We already did chip draw. We got John Jacobs, super fast coyote, twin turbo coyote Mustang deal. He actually won last night in the prepped deal. Uh, we were working, but I did do some changes to salty while we were out, and uh, we are able to add some weight. So we got a little more weight added to the back of the car here. And then also we pulled some weight out of the front of the car as in the dash. So if you guys remember on the build, we pulled, we were able to make the dash removable. So then we could pull weight out if we wanted to. So then we could, you know, move the weight around by us. So by adding the weight in the back, pulling the dash out, it's about an even swap, but we're gaining weight to the back. I already went through the tune-up after looking at all the data logs from last time. We tightened up the traction control just a little bit and we also played with some numbers. So hopefully the track comes around. It's actually pretty good. It's super warm out. So hopefully the track will be good for first round. We're gonna leave kind of the tune up we ended with last time. There was a big pedal throughout that pass on the data log. So if it hooks and goes down through, it should go an 80, potentially even a 70, but it would have to hook all the way through and not pedal it at all. I'm figuring I'm gonna have to pedal it a little bit. So we're gonna go up, watch round one of the other two classes and then get ready for our class. Tire or limited, so he actually gets, uh, gets free data on it. So, well, I wish we were running him that time, but now he has data. I'm sure he'll figure some stuff out, and it'll be interesting when we run it. After a little rain, I actually pull the hood off, minus some weight, make it easier to maintenance throughout the night. We don't need one. Plus, the hood is super hard to see around. So for a safety factor, like when somebody's like a car length in out on me, if they were to come into my lane, I wouldn't even see them. So we're taking that off for now. April and AJ are getting salty iced up. We're gonna do a stitch. Then we're gonna do a two-step check, make sure it comes up clean, everything's happy. So when we don't, it screws us. And we're gonna go make a hit. So I think we're on to something. Full throttle, first round, all the way down, slight. Just a just a tiny pedal where I feel the car get a little loose. But if you see the purple line, that's the trash control doing work all the way down through there. And uh, because of it doing that, I was able to do that. So that's so awesome. It went like 150 something, 60 foot. So we definitely can try, try to throw more at it, try to go faster than 60. Uh, it looks like we left on five pounds. We'll turn that up a little bit. And otherwise, I think the rest of the track, I'm gonna leave it. Hopefully it just comes around where it uses the trash control less, and then we can go faster because of that. First round wind off of our back. It's a pretty good one. John's a fast car. He had some issues, as you guys saw in that first round of Unlimited. He figured some stuff out, and I, I don't know where he was at. I think a car car and half back, something like that. But uh, either way, good race, and we're gonna make a few little adjustments and go up for round two. I gotta go do chip draw here in a minute. We'll see who we get. Headed up for round number two, AJ Zuber to the starting line. We got Carlos with the uh, like crazy like Jeep track hawk thing. Um, it's got like a big turbo, it's super fast. All wheel drive, four radials all the way around it, so it's, it's no joke. So we're, uh, we're gonna pull up here, get set up, get ready to go. We're actually in the right lane this time, so. I'll set you in the right spot. Wish us luck, AJ will get me lined up good like he did last time. And Try to get another W. 
126. Pretty good rip. It literally has the same like 593 tune-up in it, maybe a hair softer in areas, but easily aggressive up top and it's still just not going in because the, the timing's pulling all the power out of it. So I might take the bottom traction control curve and bump it up just a hair. So then it can have a little bit more. We'll see it when it's getting into it. Maybe I need to raise it up. something almost exact same speed so we'll try to uh go figure out the tune-up see if we go a little bit quicker but on to round three see who we draw go from there we're getting there buddy getting there it's gonna be a, a banger if we hit it again all right guys so chip draw is done and here's what the last pass looked like so it it's it's carrying the wheels and it's getting into the traction right here so we're gonna ignore it for the first six tenths and then I raised it up too, because now after two runs, the car went almost identical times, a barely faster. So, and I'm full throttle the entire time. So we're gonna move the traction control lineup a little bit. I think it's actually limiting me from going faster. And hopefully this one will go faster, because now the traction control is not limiting us, but it's been working, I think, amazing, because I've been able to drive it all the way down through there each pass. So we're almost ready. We're gonna go up. We got four door LTD. Uh, well, I think it's a turbo S deal next round. We'll see how we do. PB, we went fast, but I think he got us. That sucks. Damn. He was he was rolling. Either that or he killed me on the tree, or he jumped. And then I don't know. Maybe he jumped. Maybe he tried to guess it and he jumped on us a little bit. Either that or he killed me on the light. I don't know. We'll find out. Left lane jump. Left lane jump. Left James lane won. Jump. Left lane jump, Larry. So. Woo! All right, everyone. So Paul actually jumped by about two frames on the camera, I guess. So we're moving on, which I was surprised. I mean, he's fast, uh, but that was our PB, and I was like, dang. But uh, he was definitely out on us. Then we we're starting to catch him slowly, but surely just ran out of real estate. But he was out on us because he jumped. So three cars remaining. There's a buy still in there, and I think the other guys already had one, so it might be only between two people. So we could potentially buy into the final here. And, uh, or we got a race to get into the final. So we'll see what happens. We'll keep you guys updated. But uh, tune up on point. I ended up pulling out, uh, here's the data log from it. Turned off the traction control down low. And actually after the second shift, it got into it a little bit. So we turned it up a little bit more down here since we weren't even into the traction control. We'll see what we can do.
out of control. <laughs> so I had him for a while, didn't even see him, and then he started coming around me about when he had me by about a half a car. That's where the car is starting to get into the traction control. So I was either grab the scramble and maybe it takes it and we drive around him, or it spins and that happens. So uh, car got out of control a little bit, unfortunately, and it didn't take the scramble. I mean, it was faster than 60. If it would have taken the scramble, we would have went a 70, pretty deep 70 on that one, but it didn't. So that's where we got to figure out what can we do with the car now from the one, two shift to the end of the track to get it to hopefully take it. I don't know, maybe it's tire. I think maybe it's a little bit of shock. Um, obviously we need a little bit more in the 60, but I mean, we went with that big pedal and out of control, we went the same time we went in the first round. So that shows that like the car was exponentially making a faster pass. That's racing. Hold it. We're just gonna, Salty's just making too much power. John's the one that beat us in the last round.